It's tea time. This is where we spill the tea. People who want to have normalcy and raise their healthy family live in places like Long Island. Hashtag Long Island life. The hot teas, the hotties. I've had the opportunity to see some incredible beauty, some incredible sunsets, some incredible cultures. But at the end of the day, where do I want to be? Fire Island and Bayshore. Happened here on Long Island. Happened here on Long Island. Because you know why? Summers are awesome here. You're in there with the sharks. As long as you don't stick your arm out the cage, because you only can do that once. <laughs> First of all, I feel left out because there's a bottle of wine in between. Yes, two we should have told you. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is Brioche? And you're the cut. Long, Long Island, Island Tea. Hey, welcome back to Long Island Tea. Sharon's already laughing. I'm sorry. I'm Kristen. <laughs> this is Sharon, and Hi. Uh, you're already you're already cracking. I'm up. already giggling. Yeah, because you know what? This is where we spell the T. I don't know what we do. We spell the T or we spell it? <laughs> it's one of those, literally one of those. It's a crazy week. We spill the T on Long Island Life. Yeah. Lean in because I want to make sure I hear you. To live and work and play. We do. Right. Actually. And we're having a good time doing it these days because yeah. it's summer. Yeah. And it's July and it's like peak summer, 4th of July, amazing weekend. And it's just like, you know, we always say like, oh, Memorial Day weekend kicks off summer right. and then it's like June 22nd is officially and, and then it's like 4th of July though come on yeah and, and then, then you're like really then you're into summer but then like after 4th of July you feel like it's gone it's over right like I always feel like it's over it's, it's like, gone Dan and I kind of got into it the other night we're trying to get like one of those stupid pools for the backyard for the kids you know oh. like the a-frame whatever we've gone through so many of them but anyway and I'm like you gotta get it and he's like well, stop it's, it's you know, already over. It's not even something like we're almost in. It just started. And I'm like, it's 4th of July. We're, it's over. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's over. <laughs> um, the schedule is insane. I yeah. was talking to the staff earlier and I'm like, so I am taking a couple days off. It's my uh, birthday. Yeah. Week. In fact, interesting. Yeah. Uh, first of all. Okay. So how are you doing? I'm doing good. Yeah, we just went right how are you doing? It. How are you doing? You're doing good. It's coming up on your coming birthday. Coming up birth- birthday. And it's called uh, birthday week, not because I celebrate my birthday the whole week, but here's a funny story. Okay. Funny story. So... My birthday is July 9th, and my older sister's birthday, who's five years older than me, is July 13th. Okay? Right. So she's five years older than me, and we were always very different growing up. Right. And um, our birthdays were four days apart, and so um, my mom would always make us share, like, our birthday yeah. parties. Yeah. And it was horrible. Yeah. It was l- legitimately traumatizing. Because you don't want to share your birthday. For both of us. Well, first of all, because we weren't, we were five years apart and right. super different. Right. Totally. Exactly. She was like goth. Yeah. And super yeah. alternative. <laughs> and I was like a total bowhead. Yeah. I'll never forget my mom would get like a sheet cake and split like half of it. I love that. Would be, uh, my design was like uh, a swimming pool and it was like fun. And her design had a crab on it for like the cancer <laughs> sign. <laughs> She was like, what is, my mom's like, I don't know you. I don't that's know what you amazing. want. So I that's the best it. I could do. I love it. And we, um, back in our day, this is probably, Chris probably remembers this. Um, we would go to McDonald's. That was like your big birthday. Big thing. Yeah. Ronald McDonald might come out. Oh. Okay. And you had the McDonald's cake. And the big thing was when your name was on the marquee. <gasps> okay. They would get your name on the, do you remember this, Chris? He's totally vibing with oh me right my now. God, this that's is old so people stuff. funny. And I'll tell you one, another funny story is one time we were on a road trip or whatever. My mom got us the name on the marquee and it was a big deal. And they took a Polaroid of it, you Aww. know, and then my sister and I were in the back seat and we're fighting over the Polaroid. Let me see, let me see, let me see. And then accidentally flew out the window. <laughs> And we were like, oh, my God, our mom is going to kiss. Lost oh it. My Forgotten. God. Gone forever. But the, the reason that's funny is because now that when we got older, we love having our birthdays together. Right. We're best friends. And we right. do it all the time. But it tra- it's, she didn't care right. as much. Traumatized me our whole lives. So then, so my birthday's on the 9th. Hers on the 13th. Kenzie was born. Her her due date was the 13th. Right. Kenzie was born on the 16th. Oh, my God. Right? So I was like, oh, we're on the same birthday. So fun. Three years later, Tegan's... <laughs> Due date is on the 16th. So her birthday is actually on the 12th. Oh, my God. It was a God. whole thing. That is so, now, so crazy. All four, so their birthdays, just to, in case you're carrying the one, are four days apart. I love it. My sister's like, ah, you did it. <laughs> you did it to your children. <laughs> you complained about it. Your whole, whole life. Lives. Yeah. You owe mom an apology. Oh, my God. Because so funny. you did the exact same thing. Too funny. And so now I'm like super sensitive because it's my birthday, which, you know, by the way, your birthday doesn't matter once you have kids. Right doesn't matter especially when you're nine months pregnant twice right as you're having right. kids. literally 
it's your birthday any day any it's minute like, yeah it's horrible um but then i was like i can't do it I, they had one party together at chuck e cheese one time because it was so expensive <laughs> i was like the only way you're doing this is if it's combined oh um, my god but now i have to like take time off so it's my birthday yeah i'm gonna go see my bestie patrick i know i'm so Florida, excited for you which i'm very excited I'm a jealous to I see his new place i know he's probably so excited oh my god he's so cute he calls me of course he calls me every day anyway but he's like got the biggest plans for you. He's got so everything lined up, I'm yeah. sure. And then I come back and then I have to do Tegan's birthday on the 12th and then Kenzie's birthday and I have to do them separately and make them special because I can't be a hypocrite. Right, right. And celebrate both their birthdays. Right. So whatever. Um, but I tell you what, nothing. I'm. this wine is getting me through. And it's so good, isn't it? Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited about the Wine of the Week segment, Sharon. <laughs> me too. We have some really fun stuff coming up. Yeah, but I mean, I'm excited I know, for you to pronounce the I wine. Know. I'm really nervous. It's wine of the week. It's let's, a wine of the week. Hear, so we say. are drinking Lens. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Here I go. <laughs> I'm going to go with, um, no, I can't even try it without it. laughing. No, it's delicious. It's a, it's a, like a sweeter white wine. It's cold. Which I don't like sweet wine, but oh, I like this one. This is, this is a special though. Yeah. It's not like, yeah. So it's, it's Gorwitzer Manor. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's, That's amazing. Um, How would so you say this, it? <laughs> so this is actually a, like a German style uh, wine. It's called Gewürztraminer. Okay, there you go. Okay, <laughs> and it is it is a white wine that I don't, I'm with you. Like I'm not big on right, sweet right. white wines, but this one is um, meant to be on a sweeter side. And I think it's just the I don't know the grape the way they do it. Right. Um, it's actually an award winning wine. It's beautiful. It, it can be. Um, I think it can be like ice wines, depending on where, oh, you know, if okay. you, you get it from a certain um, region. But this one is Lens, and it's a 2016, which I feel like, I don't know why this, I feel like this seems important. Well, I feel like that year is a good like, year for yeah. the grapes, you know. Was it? Oh. I don't know. I feel like what we've been <laughs> drinking lately was yeah. always like a 2016. It's a 2016 Gewürztraminer. Gewürztraminer. So I if said it. Ever, like, yeah. So yes. listen, uh, hot teas, okay. Hot teas, there listen certain, up. There are certain things this that you can do to sound sophisticated, right? Mm -hmm, so when you go mm -hmm. to a restaurant, mm -hmm. you can be like on a hot summer day, you'd be like, Do you have a good verse demeanor? Do you know what I do? What I do look at the menu and I point to it. I'm like, hey, I'll, no. I'll take <laughs> No, but you just if you just print if you just memorize a couple like that, another good one is you know what I love? A red wine. Mm. You know, if you were like, um, do you have a multiple Giano? Ooh. It just sounds good. Yeah, it does. Charcuterie. Ooh. I like charcuterie. Right? I love charcuterie. And then you just, that's all you need to know. Yeah. And then the rest of it, then you point. <laughs> I point all the time. Right? <laughs> but uh, but is, do we have a description for this one? Um, we don't. Okay. Let me see. Like, Hold on. What's it say? Hold on. Because it's Lens, which is one of our favorite uh, vineyards. It's also one of the most um, acclaimed as far as actual wine making vineyards. Uh, okay. So this is the Lens Estate Selection Converse Demeanor is as tricky to spell as it is to grow. See? See? Ripening in late September and early October, Gewürztraminer tends to set very different crop levels each year and is very sensitive to damage. Few regions where it grows manage to bring out its unique aromas, flavors and of rose petal, nutmeg, and grapefruit. Mm -hmm. The North Fork is one place where Gewürztraminer tends to over-deliver on its varietal promise. Yeah, no, this is, it's like a really rare thing, which is why it's so cool that you don't get this kind of wine everywhere. Right. And you don't get it done well. I want to say it's like, Long Island is great. I want to say like, um, Washington, maybe. They're Washington or Oregon, I can't remember. And then maybe like Iceland or Miami. Wow, Miami. It's like, wow. Yeah. That's incredible. It's, it's, uh, it's really, in Germany, obviously. Um, but this is great. It's a good, this is a, don't you think? It's so good. I, I love like, it. It's been so hot. I know. And it's delicious. And it's, yeah. ice, your fridge is like ridiculously cold. Yes. In fact, uh, I like to keep everything really cold for some reason. Right. My fridge at home, my uh, Pellegrino bottle just blew up. A oh my God. Because it's need too to cold. It I know. I was like. <laughs> That's a little crazy. I know, I know, I know. But, um, but this is great. So we really want to thank Long Island Wine Country as our sponsor of the Wine of the Week, um, including Lynn's. So what we have, I just took a picture of it. Um, Brie can put it on social, but <coughs> Lynn's sent us, you know, their three pack, which we've been, it was our Wine of the um, Week deal for a while. Mm -hmm. And it was like three bottles of wine for 54 bucks. It's amazing. Yeah, it's so amazing. And it's in the cutest package. The presentation is everything. I mean, it's ma it, it matters. It does. It's um, beautiful. The packaging. And it's so pretty. So I put a picture of it so you know that you could get this great, if you, if you're going to a party or if right. you have, you know, whatever. 
company or any barbecue, birthday gifts or whatever. Um, hint, hint to everyone coming to our barbecue. Right. I'm so <laughs> excited. <laughs> We're having an office barbecue. I'll, more, more to come on that later. Mm-hmm. Um, but it, 57 distinct winemakers and the um, vineyards are gorgeous, especially this time of oh year. Oh my God. It's my favorite time to I go. I mean, it's just magical out there yeah, on the North Fork. It really is. It's, and we're The so weather lucky. has been amazing. I oh. mean, it's just go out it, there because as hot as it is it's cool out there right exactly it's like cool yeah, on the, the on the ends nautical breeze the east end. oh mm-hmm. my god it's so cheers to long island Mine country okay sharon i'm super excited yeah me too what? Big announcement. <gasps> it's huge huge why don't you make it oh okay and so, then fill in with the details we are super excited to announce a contest that we are doing yeah um, we are doing a contest where our hot teas, our listeners, our biggest fans, can enter to win a limo ride to our on-location recording at the vineyard. Okay. I am so excited about so this. So excited! So uh, I was at an event uh, last Friday and in Port Washington, which we're going to talk about, But um, and I, I go up to this uh, hotel owner who's offering one of our downtown deals, and I'm, I introduce myself. I'm like, hi, I'm Kristen. And she's like, yeah, how you doing? <laughs> And I'm like, I'm well, thank you. How are you? And she's like, no, how are you doing? I love it. And I'm like, oh, she goes, I listen. I'm a hot, t- I'm a hot tea. Yes. And I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> uh, she's the owner like- of the Fathom <laughs> Hotel in, in Port Washington, which is, by the way, an amazing hotel. Um, I saw pictures of it. I was like, whoa, I want to see it. It's water views. Gorgeous. Anyway, it's yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and I was floored. I know. I'm That's like, so cool. People, like, when they do that, when they're like, how you, I'm like, people are listening. Yeah. It's so, so cool. I, we called. We talked last night, and right. uh, we called our amazing friend and board member Mark of Elegance. Mm-hmm. Which, if you ever need transportation anywhere, he's your guy. He, he's we got a guy. We got a guy. <laughs> His name and is he's awesome. Mark of Elegance. Yeah, and he's got the most amazing vehicles, and the service is like impeccable. His fleet is beautiful. I use them for everything. Yeah, he's got classic cars. Oh my god. Um, the Rolls Royce, oh, right? Everything, and, and then like you know, Lincoln car, like whatever, or just but, even a regular town car, yeah. So, and he does wine tours, right? And, yeah. And also, also the trolley the out trolley, there too. Yeah. Anyway, he does everything. So we called him and we were like, we want to do something special for our hot teas that listen, because people, it's finally dawning on me, people actually listen. Right. To we this. have fans. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's like, I'm in. Let's do it. I so, love it. And we were planning our rem- remote. Right. Um, and we're going to do it at, what's the vineyard? Oh, it Terravit. is. Terravit. Terravit Vineyard. So listen, hot teas out there, mark your calendars, okay? July 22nd at Terravit, 3 p.m., okay? But we're doing a contest, a giveaway. Right. We're doing a contest. Right. It's just a giveaway. And um, you basically, here's what you do. Uh, and this will all be on discoverlongisland.com slash T and Bree's going to put it all over our social channels. And in so the just, notes, everywhere. Just follow us, yeah. first of all. But um, so all you have to do is leave us a five-star rating and write a little review. One sentence so that we know that you, because we don't know if you leave a, right. you got to write a review so we know who you are. And then follow us if you're not already following us on Insta mm-hmm. and invite one friend. And hashtag hot tea. Hashtag hot tea. So that we know that you're part of this, that you actually want to participate. Right. And then we're going to pick, um, you get to bring a friend. Right. We're going to pick like six or seven people, I guess, that get to bring a friend. It's you and a guest. And Mark of Elegance is going to pick you up in a limo. Yeah. Bring you out to the vineyard, and you get to be there in live remote with me and Sharon. And we're going to do some really fun things that day. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited for that because we're going to do some giveaways during the oh, day. Yeah. No, it's going to be big. It's going to be huge. We're going to do giveaways. We're going to drink wine with you. We are going to um, ask you what your tea is. Yeah. You have to come ready and prepared yeah. for your tea. So we're going to spill your tea. Yeah. And uh, the hot teas are going to become like out of the airwaves and into the forefront it's gonna be so awesome it's gonna be so fun i'm so excited yeah it's It's like a live audience it's awesome i'm i'm pumped scared i'm like it's so much going Ah, on i have so so many emotions you get to hang out with us for the day well how fun is that yeah but um so this is gonna be big so please make sure don't hesitate see it on social uh as soon as you hear this You'll go to discoverlongisland.com slash tea or follow our Instagram page, which is Long Island Podcast. No, Long Island, Long Island tea, tea Podcast. podcast. <laughs> and um, yeah, all you have to do, leave a review, 
What else? Hot like, tea. Subscribe, hot tea. Leave a five star rating <laughs> and review. Follow and tag one friend we on Instagram it. and yeah. hashtag hot tea. You and your friend. And so there'll be like, uh, we're trying to figure it out, like 12 to 14 people. I think it's going to be like, of course, Mark of Elegance is like bomb. He's going to have that limo stock. Oh my God, he is. And it's going to be a par tay. It is. And you're take the day off. Yeah. Yeah. Girl, it's girl time. Yeah, it is. You you earned it. You deserve it, girl. You're so worth July twenty second. And and boys. Yeah. By the way, hot teas are also our hot tea men. Yeah. So please. We have to come up with something for them. Well, they're hot teas too. Yeah. Men are yeah, hot teas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You know? Um, so I'm excited about that. More to come on that, but um DM us or whatever if you have any questions. But follow us along because I'm that this is this is a first time. I know. I'm excited. It, the things we come up with. I know. Well, you're brilliant. I'm telling you. A sat. You're so sweet. But I was like, I'm literally calling Sharon. I'm like, call her like late at night. I can hear your kids call me. Sharon. I need to talk to you. I, <laughs> I think we should do something. Okay. So and this I is, loved it. Yeah. So this is awesome. Um, and now we're going to talk about, uh, you know, uh, our Long Island Life segment today is really all about our downtown deals because we launched Port Washington as our new downtown deal. Yeah. We launched a new one as well that just came out on Friday. Fire Island. Fire whoop Island. Whoop. And like perfect timing. It's crazy to think that not only you can go to what? What is Alyssa saying? <laughs> Alyssa is like trying to get us. What is she saying? What time is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we skipped oh right over it. Oh my God. Uh, she can't see it because this I'm is in the so, way. <laughs> I, I'm so excited. And by the way, we're going to have all of our hot teas do that. We're all going to be like, what time is it? All together in unison. It's tea time. Oh my God. Alyssa, thank you. That's so That's fun. It. I'm like so pumped about this giveaway. I know. It's going to be fun. I'm melting down. <laughs> I just want to meet all of our like... I, I just wish you knew how blown away I am when people say that to I me know. in public. Yeah. And, you know, we know we have like our diehards, like uh, who are some of our diehards that have written us? Where's okay, our... Okay, so we have some we have some good fans here. Yeah. If I can get to the paper here. Yeah, people write us all the time. And right. first of all, we did the, um, uh, who was it that, that put us in our food blog? She was amazing. Yeah, she, she put us in her article. What was her name? Joyce. Joyce. Joyce is a hot tea. Joyce, Joyce listen, this is we for better you. see you in that limo. I right? better see you and your bestie. So we have um, we have Brave Public Public Relations, Shay Galata, mm. Dominique Marie Rudolph from Coach Realtors. Okay. This is for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Dominique Pad yep, Paterano <laughs> from Crimson Coaching. And yeah. we have... Um, Oh, yeah, and the, the Lola the, Mina. The Lola Mina. Yes. Listen, Lola Mina, we better see you. Simply made greetings. Yes. We better see you. I'm locally bred. One hundred percent. Uh, we're in the locally bred boxes. Right. For How the summer fun is boxes. That? All of our collateral. All you locally bred ladies. We better see you in that limo. Absolutely. I'm telling you, this is going to be fun. Sharon and I, we're going to drink wine with you, I'm and pumped. we're going to spill some tea with you, and I it's going to be so at a vineyard on Long Island. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. That's in a like limo. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, who else was? Oh, like Laura uh, from Fire Island. Yes. Um, who Palms. was amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a listener. And uh, when I went out there, she was like, I have your coffee. And, and um, like so many people. So cute. She had your vanilla latte waiting she for had you. Vanilla, like, so many. Uh, uh, Janice and Jamie, you Claudio, know. Claudio, yeah. Come on. We're going to see you in that limo. It's going to be it's going to be wild. It's going to be epic. <laughs> it's an epic As my kids would say, getaway. it's going to be wild. Yeah. Okay, so uh, it, it's, it's, tea it's tea time. So I guess we were going to get into Long Island Life, but I guess we can do tea first. Yeah. Do you have tea? I, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I do. Um, I have this article. Is this one it? Yeah, is this it? Yeah, hand me that, Alyssa. <gasps> okay, this is big. Okay. I might have to put my glasses I'm on ready. for this. Okay, so my tea is, and then wait, if you don't have tea this week, that's fine. This because we just spilled I do, it. but it's kind of lame. Okay, we just spilled a lot. We just yeah. spilled a lot of tea. Okay, you know... That I have since our last one of our last episodes, I talked about just like binging The Sopranos. Yeah, yeah. Because I never saw it. Yeah, and now you're a Long Islander. You have uh, to, right? Yeah. I'm like Long Island. You're Long Island. I gotta watch The Sopranos. <laughs> I gotta know about Tony Soprano. Right. Tony Soprano. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> even though it was like based in Jersey, but still, yeah, on, you know, fine. saying like yeah. whatever. Um, so I've been watching The Sopranos. I've been binging it. It's amazing. I totally, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the hype. Right. The first. Do you love Edie Falco? Yeah, she's okay. I'm not there yet. I don't okay. think her character is fine. Like, 
anyway, but I'm loving Tony Soprano. And mm-hmm. I love it. It's not what I expected. Yeah, like it's a lot more It shows him from like a real sensitive side. Family side, yeah. Yeah, because he's getting therapy. Yeah. So he's like like kind of sensitive. Right. I, I did not expect that. Oh, it's, okay, it's more to good. come. More okay. to come. And so anyway, I'm binging it and then sure enough, guess what? Was Soprano's in news day today. Prequel trailer reveals so they're doing a prequel. They're I doing think a movie that's prequel. So awesome. And it reveals a teen Tony Soprano. I can't I can't wait for it. Yeah. Because it's awesome. Okay, so but get this. The 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 teen Tony Soprano that's gonna be in the movie that's coming out October first and will be in theaters on October first, as well as uh, streamed on HBO Max. The teen is played by his actual son in real life, Michael Gandolfino. Oh, so amazing. I mean, that's, that's amazing. Awesome. That's awesome. But you know what? <laughs> now that, it, you know who I'm most, the mother, the mother is so psychotic. Tony Soprano's mother. Yeah, she's crazy. She cries. so, <laughs> I love like twisted mother care. She's so twisted. Um, and you've got all these amazing people that are here. They're supposedly uh, going to be like some kind of um, uh mystery figure played by Ray Liotta that's awesome. going to warn Dickie to stay away from Tony. Oh my God, uh, I love no, it. I'm I'm so glad I decided to start binging. So if you've not, and by the way, we were talking to like, Alyssa hasn't seen The Sopranos. Danielle hasn't seen I The Sopranos. I Right? And so I was like, okay, everybody. Start office, binging. Yeah. <laughs> we uh, have weekend, an office. Weekend rules. <laughs> office binge. Yeah. But, uh, what are the odds? Like, who knew there was a prequel coming I know, out? that's awesome. I love it. Yeah. I'm excited. So I, I I was like so excited to bring this That's to awesome. you. That's awesome. Good tea. Uh, My tea is a little lame. What? So I, I don't know. Do, is, do you barbecue corn on the cob? Like, do you put it on the grill? Yes. I, I mean, not me personally. Right. Right. But Thomas how do you does. do it? Uh, he does it in the corn husk. Just flat out in the husk. You mm-hmm. don't wrap it. It's, okay, okay, okay. So he like soaks it in water. Okay, that's a lot. And right? the corn, I don't do it. I don't do it. So I have a little tip. Okay. In the corn husk. Okay. Keep it in the husk. Put it in the microwave for two minutes per corn ear. Okay. I'm with you. Take it out. Let it cool down a little bit so you can hold it. Cut the ends off and the husks come right off. No hairs. Oh, my God. Nothing. Whoa. Then I wrap it in foil and butter and salt and pepper. And then I put it in the grill. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. So it's like kind of cooked already. So you don't have to put it on as long. Yeah. So That's amazing. Right? I, why, I don't know why you think that's lame, especially as I'm it's like, like I'm not talking season. about Yeah, well, that's what I figured. I was like, it's barbecue uh, because season. Because let me tell you, Thomas has, you know, he tries, but it's it's tricky. You, it's it's so easy tricky. to burn, first of all, to do it. And then secondly, I can't tell you, there's nothing more enraging than when you're like over and, the, then and you're thread. burning yeah. the crap out of your hands. <laughs> yes. You're like burning the layer of skin off yeah. your hands trying to peel that husk. Yeah. I'm down with this. So I'm going to share you, this. It's awesome. Two minutes per ear Where's in the microwave. A friend of mine came mm. over last night. She's like, are you going to grill this? I'm like, yeah. She's like, I'm going to show you a little trick. I was like, what? And you did it. And it worked. <laughs> and it worked amazing. That's awesome. I was like, incredible. I think that's great tea. Um, so I think that's really perfect for yeah. like barbecue season. Yeah. So now we've got like uh, something for you to watch. Yeah. And to eat. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. I love it. You're welcome, hot teas. We're here for you. <laughs> we um, got you. Okay. So back to Long Island Life yes. before we forgot about the tea. This is like, <laughs> what show Alyssa. is this? Wait. Um, Where are we? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my phone is just blowing up. Oh my goodness. This is kind of the, this is the life. Yeah. I can't. Talk enjoy. about Long Island Life. Long Island Life. Um, but one of the things we just did is we launched Port Washington Downtown Deal and it was the coolest thing. Oh my God. It was so awesome. Port Washington. Yeah. First of all, we have the downtown deals. We always talk about it. And this isn't just a commercial. It's actually really cool for you right. to go and learn about what there is to do in the downtowns and how to experience it, how to get out of your house and go somewhere different. And uh, so we had like eight or nine. I think it was our ninth downtown. And maybe Fire Island is our 10th. I don't right. even know how many. Right. It's blowing up. Our it downtown is blowing deals. up. And like there's so many in the queue waiting to be yes. launched. Like it's awesome. It's great. And the cool thing is, it's like, you know what I always say is, you you probably I don't want to commit forty five minutes to drive somewhere if I don't know what there all there is to do and it's not easy to find. Right. So the cool thing is you go to discoverlongisland dot com slash deals and you can uh, either look on the website or you can download, download it to your phone. It, it goes and right then, to your home page. It's not an app. It's yeah, like it doesn't take up any memory or anything right. like that. Right, and then you look at the downtowns mm-hmm. and you can see. Yeah. All the things are to do. So, for example, Port Washington is a really good one, actually, it is. because there's you there's kayaks. Mm-hmm. It's like twenty, and it's deals. Yeah, you get like it's exclusive like real deals, deals that you yeah. won't get anywhere else. Right. So you can get like twenty percent off kayaks. There's a boat cruise. There's restaurants. There's Sands Point Preserve, like cultural. There's a theater. It's like it's like 
a full there's a hotel that Fathom so Hotel awesome. has a deal and it's awesome and uh, sorry and I went there to launch it we had like a press conference literally every politician that's ever looked at yeah. Port Washington is there <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome though that's awesome great. you have all that those people you know yeah like, and i i mean i i said at the press conference and people may not like this but i was like I, I would tell you that i'm sure there are a ton of people in long island that have never been to port washington mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and don't know anything about right, it right right and it's the cute it's waterfront downtown yeah. it's closer to the city right um so the cool thing is is there's like there was a great waterfront dining right there uh, where we had the press conference and um and it's close, like one of my favorite attractions mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. Americana Manhasset. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I went there afterwards. <laughs> yeah. um, but Port Washington also, when I was doing um, the thing, the the downtown deals, I saw this article. And, and of course, I'm like keen to anything Port Washington. Did you know hmm. that Miracle on 34th Street, the movie? Yeah. That the iconic house be- that makes her believe that there's a Santa Claus. I can't believe that. I mean, because she, you know, the... The movie is like she doesn't believe in Santa because right. she's very pragmatic. This right. little girl, and her, they're like, "No, what what could Santa bring you?" And it's obviously really Santa, right? Because he's right. at Macy's. He's real. <laughs> yeah, and she wants a house. Aww. Her mom's a single mom. They're living apart. She wants this house, this beautiful, perfect suburban home. And he's like, "That's a tall lift," you know. Yeah. And then at the end of the movie, they're drive by. There's a, the house that she has the picture of. Right for sale and her mom's met like the neighbor and they totally buy it oh my god that's in port washington i didn't know that the I can't iconic that miracle on 34th street house that's crazy Do i'm you, like shed a tear I, yeah i, I was like, gonna say you like probably like got all emotional about it <laughs> <laughs> this is like i grew up my whole life watching yeah. this movie yeah that's so both cute. versions it's amazing and then there's uh, Alyssa put together some other facts do you about. know about that adam sandler's from port washington uh yeah yeah i've heard that no i didn't know where but he lives he lives there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He lives there. Sorry, yeah. Let's be real. He, he lives. Well, Port Washington, Port by the way. Washington. Bougie. Yeah. Apparently, Hector. Yeah. We're coming. Well, <laughs> but it's like suburban paradise, yeah. but also with super close proximity to the city. Right. Right. And on the water. Right. That's awesome. It, it, the houses are amazing. It's beautiful. It's yeah. beautiful. You walk through, you see Adam Sandler. Yeah. Just at IHOP. At IHOP, waiting. Waiting for the arrow. Wait, I can't with that story. <laughs> okay, what else? What other fun facts? Uh, are there? Fun facts. Let's see. Um, Port Washington was a sand mining town in 1870s. Mm. It was known for having the largest sand bank east of the Mississippi, with easy lo- barge access to Manhattan. Oh yeah, no, they actually said that at the press conference, right? Bree, the girl was like, people don't realize that the sand that built Manhattan came mm. from Port Washington. That's wild, right? That is wild. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and real quick, speaking of that, uh, one of the downtown, the, the charter boat service that the head of the bid, um, bill was there. He was like, so his son owns this charter, charter boat service and it's not, it's not a boat tour. You like charter it or whatever. Um, but there's a discount on the deals. It takes you to the Statue of Liberty. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yeah. You can charter a boat from Port Washington and do a tour I'm of the doing Statue that. of Liberty. That's awesome. You don't have to go anywhere else. Right? You don't yeah. have to wait on that line. No, you don't have to. Oh my God, that's awesome. By the crowds? I was like, uh, we're doing that. Yeah. Um, Port Washington uh, Port Outdoors is a summer event. It happens every Thursday until, until October 7th. It has live music, entertainment, and outdoor dining and shopping. Yeah. Super, super cute event. Very community oriented. I loved all the people in Port Washington. Um, and uh, then we also did our other downtown that we just launched is yes. Fire Island, Ocean Beach. Perfect timing. Perfect like, timing. Right. I think I that's not, awesome. I did not want to leave. I know. And you can see it. On the I know. You, I too. watched it today and you, I was like, oh my yeah. God. I, I was can't believe it. Totally vibing you with were. everyone there. And because it's like, it's a vibe. So was it Chris really and Brie, is. by the way. They were totally vibing, too. Yeah. Um, yeah what was that? Brie, I was going to talk about something about you just b- right before, and then I was like, I'm going to bring that up. can't remember what it was. Oh, my God. I was going to I was gonna tease Brie about something. Oh, my God. I don't remember. You just I said know, it. I know. I just said it, and I didn't, I didn't write it down, I don't think. Um, no, but she's... Anyway, but I can't, I can't not... <laughs> I can't, the best I can't day think ever. of that day and not think of Chris and Bree and how much fun we had. Aw, so yeah. fun. And then Chris uh, on the bloopers um, totally made fun of me because I say, are you ready? Are you also, ready? Are you ready? I thought that no. was hysterical. Are you ready? Um, are you ready? ready? Okay, you ready? Okay, ready? But let me tell you, the deals on the Fire They're Island incredible. Ocean Beach. We have a list here of what they are. So Albatross is 15% off midweek bill or 15% off lunch on Saturdays. 
Amazing. Amazing. The fact that you can get any kind of discount. Yeah. It's crazy. It's packed. It is packed. And I think that like, like I, we talked about it last episode, go for the day. Even if you can't yeah. get a reservation, That's just go happen. for the day. Now go that for my lunch. dad's here, my dad's going yeah. like, when we're going to Fire Island. Right? It's amazing because at Beach Area, you can have 15% off your order of $50 or more. Oof. CJ's, home of the rocket fuel, free appetizer with purchase of two entrees. Amazing. Or $20 burger and beer. And you need to eat the food. You have to eat, eat food when, so, you get a, yeah. when you get a rocket fuel. You need but to it's eat also something. so good. CJ's is delish. Yeah. Um, Hanalai and Kula's is 10% off a $100 purchase or far out sales. And that was the cutest store, by the way. It was so cute. That was cute. the that sprayed me with the Yeah, so cute. She was so cute. She was so happy to it's see very, you. It's very like hippie-ish, like Hawaii yeah, feel. Yeah, very beach vibe. That's what beach it is. Beach vibe. You know? Very, very cute. Very cute. Uh, Island Mermaid, 10% off your bill. McGuire's mm-hmm. Bayfront Restaurant. Lobster Palooza. By the way, Lobster Palooza. That- is that what you were eating? Lobster. I had a lobster roll. Okay. I'm not getting a lobster palooza. Like, what is a lobster palooza? It's a lot. It's like a full lobster. Okay. Um, which is amazing. Yeah. But I did have the Your lobster dad would roll. Love that. Oh, yep. That's gonna happen. I'm <laughs> sure. Um, we're gonna go. My dad's gonna totally fall in love with Alex. Yes. He's gonna ask her to marry him. Hundred <laughs> percent. Just I'll just I, that's gonna happen. Yeah. I'll report back on that later. Mm-hmm. Um, and then but we ate these. Uh, what they? What were they? Chris Sriracha uh, peppers. They were Ooh. these, s- s- some kind of peppers. Sriracha. But they were like on the stem. Like you okay. eat, they're like grilled. Okay. And it, I was like, I've never had these peppers. And I thought you were going to put that in there because that was a good segment because uh, Alex was like, yeah. I'm like, are they hot? She's like, one in every 10 is oh. really hot. And hmm. I'm like, then it's like Russian so what roulette. Is it? <laughs> exactly. Every one, you're like, <laughs> you're just like prepared. Waiting. And then she, she said, she was like, I've had a hot one. It's not. Pl- it's, it's tough. Not pleasant. It's tough. It's tough life. I'm like, oh man, we didn't get one. They're delicious. Okay. But what were you dipping them in? No, no. Oh, did we dip them? You dipped a- them there in was something. an aioli. There was like an aioli. An aioli dip. Okay. Yeah. Which you know who doesn't do that? Laura Mercagliano doesn't do that. She's that's why she's skinny. She's not dipping her stuff in aioli. Uh, 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 but whatever. Alex and I were, and yeah. we were living our best. Life. Yeah. Delicious. Uh, but no, the Fire Island Ocean Beach Pass is amazing. Amazing. Sharon. There's so many more. And you just pa- have to download and the, the pass. Yeah. It's twenty so percent off, like midweek, right? 20, yep. Stays June and September. So uh, that's awesome. By the way, get get the downtown deals pass because this is what we're this is how to live your best Long Island life. This is what we're here to help you do. Exactly. Fire Island Ferries, a dollar off a child ticket with purchase of an adult ticket Tuesday through Thursday. Oh. That's awesome. Okay, so like probably like twelve and under. Yeah. Mm. I don't, my children are not children anymore. I don't get any discounts. Right. They're, They're all, all adults. teenagers They're all now. adults yeah. on my payroll. Yep. <laughs> Fire Island Lighthouse, you get 10% off. I saw this awesome. TikTok the other day, by the way, and it was so funny. And it was like, when, when you know, you're trying to have a romantic vacation mm-hmm. and it's like, mo- it's like a couple and they're like, beautiful lounging older, and beautiful and they're, they're standing mm-hmm. watching the sunset and they turn around to walk and of course it's music and then they're like then your four adult children hear about it and join you and this for their <laughs> children so are like cute. parading behind oh, them they're like here we are like, i'm like thomas this that's is our life your, yeah that's your life yes every it, like they're like where are we going on vacation i'm like i don't where i don't know where you're going that's your life get a job yeah yep it's happening it's yeah. happening it's forever <laughs> i mean chris chris how was your daughter's graduation it's his son his son, son's it was graduation. your son's graduation. Yeah. Okay, and then his daughter's in San Diego right now, so she's living her best life. Yeah, <laughs> she's college looking, Aww. Skyler. So, anyway, is it, yeah, you never. I mean, I don't know. It's like that for you. They're gonna follow you everywhere. They're gonna good. They're. I don't know what's worse, them following <laughs> you everywhere or them just disappearing. Right. Right. And then and yeah. then not. I like, I don't. That might be. Yes, that might. Not, you're right. That might actually be worse, Chris. That's a good point. Aww. I shouldn't complain. No. Okay, soak it up. Um, so, uncorked advice or hot teas, uh, like celebrity? We had one. What was it with a celebrity? So, um, I, I, I thought of, like, here's the celebrity that's really bothering me. Mm-hmm. Two things, okay. first of all. Have you heard about Nick Cannon? No. Oh. oh, and his babies? How many babies he's got? A, a lot. He's got, like, four born this year, right? A lot of babies. <laughs> a lot of babies. Have you guys heard this? Nick. Nick Cannon? seven children okay oh, so and like all different five baby mamas this year yeah all different okay he's Listen, wilding out mariah carey's <laughs> got to be like <laughs> 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 yeah that was his thing right yeah 
You ever watch that? That's no, funny. Thank God. No, I don't. But I'm like, Mariah Carey, she's got to be looking back like, what was I thinking? Right? What? Jeez. Hey, like, you know, some people just go off. They just go off a rail. And like, and Nick Cannon, though. Like, really? Nick who, Cannon? I, I'm like, we were talking about my family. Uh, it's not Drake. Right. Right. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, Drake can listen, have seven babies. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Line up to be Drake's baby mama. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Nick Cannon. Mm, I don't know about that what one. What is the deal? Yeah, I don't know. It's don't this know. new. It's this new um, like type of guy that the skinny guy with the tats and the okay. weird. I, I don't know. But he also looks like he's 12 years old. I don't get it. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. Look at all the guys that are popular right now. Like, what's that guy's name from Saturday Night Live that gets all the beautiful women? Pete. Pete. Oh Davidson. yeah. Pete. Pete. What? Davidson. Davidson. Pete Davidson. Yeah. Uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. What all is these up weird with Machine Gun people? Kelly? All these skin- Brie. No. What is up with this? No. Brie says no. I listen. Give me like a Drake stocky. Then there's, stocky, then like, there's a- like Whitey eighteen. Yes. I'm sorry. Old school. <laughs> what? Yeah. Alyssa. Mullets are back. No. are back. I gotta tell you, my brother. Whitey no. Has one. Who? My brother. Whitey eighteen has a mullet. That is not. Do not. <laughs> Faux shame, whitey right? eighteen. Yeah. Whitey that is not eighteen. A it that's is a little a, bit of a mullet. It's a, that's just good seventies hair. Yeah, yeah, that's true. My brother has like long, curly, curly, curly hair, and he totally shaved a mullet. And I'm like, what are you doing? And he did it for the Islanders. I don't know. So did I tell you what I got Thomas for um, Father's Day? It wasn't a boulder. It was not a boulder. <laughs> Speaking of things that should not be back in style, boulders. <laughs> I'm never gonna live it down. Um, so uh, I was when I was at he's the World never Trade. Gonna live it down. Right, poor thing. He says. So when I was uh, in the city at the World Trade Center, I went. There was a new mall right across the street from One World Trade Center, and has all the bougie stores. Again, mm-hmm. moth to a flame. Yes, 100%. I was like, yeah. What are these stores? Look at these. these Look at this window. Yes. Uh, yeah. Gucci. I okay. go into Gucci. I wanted to get him something nice and I was like I don't know I don't know what to get and they were like does he like sunglasses I'm like no he's prescription right does he like watch no he's got Apple watch right right right, right. you know th- th- I was like maybe a belt all the belts have like a giant G I'm yeah like, no, he's not into no, that yeah. no 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 Thomas oops Thomas does not do that he is luxurious but not flashy yeah mm-hmm. so then I was literally getting ready to leave and she's like did you see our slides what and I'm like what mm. and there are these really cute ones and they don't take Gucci on them okay. or anything but they're red and green and they're crisscross so cool so cute and they're like manly yeah but if it's like if you know you know a hundred percent and she's like then she says you know um a lot of guys are wearing these now, and 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 the new fashion. The fashion is to wear um, tube socks no. again. No, with sandals. Stop it! No. I'm like, uh, stop. I can't get behind it. Why do it. they do it? What? I don't understand. Why do they do that? Tube socks with sandals. Yeah, it's, it's back. I it's saw it back. on TikTok. It's back. Did you see it? Yeah. It's my like son the comes dad. home like that too, oh. and I'm like, and well, he's how old? He's eight, but he's like wearing his socks with his slides, and I'm like, take the socks off, take them off. He's no. like, no, no. Why? It's I don't gotta, know. It feels so I hot. Why do it? Right? Like I'm sweating looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, I was showing you guys the um, the the thing the other day that said stiletto Crocs. I can't. I cannot Come even. On. I can't. Why? No. Is there any is there any trend you want to see make a comeback? I can't think <sighs> of it. Um, you know, I had jelly shoes. Jelly shoes, think, like, but they're back. They've been back for a y- while. Are they? Yeah. My, Where? All my girls have them. What? Yeah. Jelly Brie, shoes? Do you 100%. Have jelly shoes? No. Oh my no. God. But they're probably different. They're probably not called jelly shoes. No. Yeah. You know? No. Jelly shoes. I yes. mean, one piece swimsuits came back. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. I was, I was for that. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you know what came back? Uh, butterfly clips. Oh. You, you remember the little <gasps> butterfly squeezy clips? I love butterfly. Oh my so cute. God. No way. They're back. What? Mm hmm. I love butter banana clips. But I love banana. Are banana Do you remember clips the back? claw headbands? We yeah, were talking about back. that the other day. Oh no! Wait, claw headbands. They were like they look oh, like zigzags. Yes, and, and, and you just and, clipped them. And they're like they expand. Expand. <gasps> I, those those need to come back. back. Yes, those need to come back. I'm bringing it back. Oh, chokers, choker. chokers were back. Oh, you probably don't remember, but there was a thing that we used to have called twisted beads, which were you could mix and match all your beads, and then you twisted them together as a necklace. Yes. Oh, and you know what was amazing, by the way? I'm just, just this is, Chris, you probably don't know this because Chris is, this is a woman fashion yeah, thing. Chris is there like was such this a thing guy. called Units Clothing, and it was called Units for Women, and it was all cotton, but it okay. could be like 
uh, you'd get like it was like a band, okay, and it was all and it could be like a tube top or a belt, what? or it, there was so many, and you would wear like a shirt and pants. I was like, oh my god, the units clothing, it was so comfortable. You know what? Do you remember the shirt? Um, what were they called? Where you like tied it to the side and you would put the thing on? Yeah, the cl- what were they called? Clips. The clips, yeah. It's kind of now people knot their shirts like that yeah, should come back. That that is coming back. I said on right? TikTok uh, they're showing you how to knot your shirt. And do you remember charm necklaces like the, the roller skates yes. and like the yeah. I, I had charm bracelets too. Yeah, I what had my James called? Avery charm bracelet, which oh was my amazing. God, so awesome. Yeah. So speaking of things on TikTok though, I was <laughs> Tegan walks in the other day, hot. It, it was the hottest right, day. Right. Didn't want to deal with my hair. It's frizzy. It's horrible. Yeah, it's nasty. So I'm on TikTok watching like 45 TikTok tutorials about messy buns. <laughs> <laughs> and Tegan comes in, she's like, you okay, mom? Yeah, how I'm you doing, mom? frustrated. Oh my like, God. These are lies. These are lies. Because you see the girls and they're doing it and their hair is like automatic. They're already thick. It's like Brie. Right, right. So Brie long, has luxurious giant, hair. thick, yeah. long hair. Yeah. It's like you too. You have this hair. You guys all have thick hair. Alyssa, I'm the only yeah. one. No, I don't have thick hair. I have a lot of hair. I they're like separated into two things and That's then you baloney. then you fold it and then you put one inside the other. It look, mine looks so thin and sad. <laughs> I'm like, this is mm. not what it looks like no. on TikTok. No, I don't understand. No, it doesn't work for me. I got on the TikTok rabbit hole the other day and it was like, you know, the new uh, Bruno Mars song. I'll what are you doing? Oh that no! One? I'll leave the door open or yeah. whatever. I'm gonna leave- I love it. I love it. You ever listen to the words? It's hysterical. Yes, that's an it's amazing hysterical. song. I love it. He's like, if he's like, uh, if you're hungry, girl, I got, I got the, the lace. <laughs> no, it's so funny. I love it. And then you saw the TikToks where <laughs> where the husband and wife were like fighting, and the husband's like, me and my wife are fighting, and then it's like, please, I'm gonna leave, I'm the, gonna door leave the door open. open, and he opens every cabinet door, the yeah. toilet seat, the yes. shower curtain, yes. and I'm like, I totally texted it to Dan. I'm like, this is my life. This is you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, my that's also teenagers. Yeah, I'm like, leaving the door shut up. the like, cabinet the, door. I just I, don't I understand. Pull the garage, the refrigerator door, totally wide open. open. Why? I don't understand it. Did anyone just shut this? it? I'm le- that's so it's funny. Hysterical. You have to watch Sharon. it. It's so funny. I know. We were talking about. I'm I'm banned from TikTok. Are you? Well, at the house. Okay. Yeah. Well, I we know. I kind of hide. <laughs> <laughs> I hide and I yeah. and and every once in a while they're like, "What are you watching?" And I'm like, yeah. "Nothing, nothing." Yeah, yeah. my my kids Secretly are like, "Shut it off," because they all have their AirPods in all the time. Right, and I'm just I'm right. scrolling. They're like, "Do you have to listen to that full blast?" Right, get it as together. loud as it can be. Get it. Why? Well, I'm the only one in the house that can't watch TikTok. <sighs> And as soon as I start watching it, Thomas like shrinks over and was like, "Okay, there went an hour." Yeah, there you I'm go. Just bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. So good though. It is so good. And then like some of the weirdest things pop up to me. Like I, I don't understand where. Love it. I where sent Jamie from. the guy, my favorite TikToker, the guy that that mouths the drinks. Yes. Yeah. The one the other day, he was so funny. He was mouthing a drink. He's like, "Yes, girl." It's like the drink, but it has lips on it. It's He's a like, face. Yeah. Yes, girl. I'm forty dollars because I'm served on a rooftop. <laughs> Okay, I'm a rooftop <laughs> cocktail. Okay, yes, my eyes is melted and I'm super watery, but I'm also fabulous. Oh I'm my roof. god, that's and so And so you're going to pay it and you're going to wait 20 minutes. To get and it. it's just it's oh my so god. I was like this is factual. Mm-hmm. It's funny it because is. it's true. It is. It's so true. Yeah. They're so so funny. anyway, cheers TikTok. And my TikTok friend, I know, we just need to like lock ourselves in a closet yes. and call each other and watch TikTok together. <laughs> Well, me, you, and another friend of ours, like, we send TikToks all yeah, the time. Yeah, Reg. But I have to say that that Whitey Ford TikTok we did, 11,500 views. If you have not seen the Discover Long Island TikTok <laughs> where the team, like, duetted with Whitey 18. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, Who's Whitey Ford? I don't know. I was just correcting it for you. <laughs> okay. You. It's the Gaverse demeanor. <laughs> okay. It's delicious. It is delicious. So we've got a lot of teasers coming up because yes. we have some great content for the show. But um, in addition, I just can't talk enough about this contest. I'm so... You oh call it a contest. God. I was calling it a giveaway, but you do have to like... You have to enter to win. That's, you do have to enter to win. Yeah. So you're, I think you're more accurate. But um, speaking of Port Washington, the other thing we're getting ready to launch, and this is like Bree's baby. Oh. So I can't wait to see it. Because, Ooh, girl. Uh, so you know we have the Fit Doc. Yes, who was our, our show. friend. Dr. Michelle Reed, who's yeah. amazing, our official health and wellness ambassador. And we're starting uh, Fit Doc Fridays. Which is so awesome because that's, again, perfect timing. Yeah. You know, it's summer. It's time to get out. And, Listen, and she's truly a Fit Doc, right? And she is about living your best life. And, yeah. And 
honestly, I'm making fun of it, but she's being like healthy and wellness. Yes. And so much, so many of us want to get out and we want wellness to be part of what we do. Right. Right. And to think about what the year we went through and right. to be more cognizant and of be our outside, you know, yeah, like get out there. Outside. So uh, the, the first one, Brie was with her in the salt cave at Port Washington, which is also on the downtown deals. Which is awesome. And so we put we uh, had the fit dog go there. And uh, I haven't seen it. I'm no, excited. I'm excited for that. And when is it? July 9th. On my birthday. Yay. And, and P.S. A Brie's birthday. Yep. Brie and I birthday share a birthday. Birthday twins. Birthday twins. So cute. Listen, there's cancer. Cancer. Is our, cancer. There's a lot of emotional. Yeah. There's mm-hmm. a lot of emotional cancer mm-hmm. vibes in here. <laughs> I always see Bree's posts about cancers. I know. Because it's like, that they're just all over the board. We're well, just, it's so funny because like, we read Newsday, right? So I literally like read the horoscopes every day. So you know what I'm going to be like? So I know. <laughs> I read the Cancer horoscope, the Leo horoscope, the Taurus horoscope. And I'm like, all right, today's the day. Mm-hmm. You know, like I know yeah. how it's going to be. By the way, I talked to Paul Fleischman about it, who was at Newsday for, you know, the entirety of his career, 40 mm-hmm. years or whatever. Mm-hmm. He was like the big deal VP. And I told him, I was like, those horoscopes. And he's like, Chris, stop it. That's literally the only thing in these days that's not accurate is a horoscope. So it's like, hysterical. It's like, I love I'm like, Paul. They're real. Well, I have Paul. to tell, did you ever watch Explained on Netflix? No. Okay. So it goes into that. There's like a one thing on astrology and like, it's a whole Alyssa, docuseries. Are we ever going to get one of those famous Long Island astrologers on here? I'm trying. She's trying. <laughs> She's Listen, trying her hardest. <laughs> uh, Teresa Caputo. Caputo. Yeah. If you're listening. The yeah. medium. Oh my God, that would be so come on. awesome. Like, I don't know. Let's just, I, I think you should come on and see. Yeah. I don't necessarily want her to tell me what to do. I, I, I'm. So- well, no, she's more like she contacts the dead. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah, that's weird. Different. That's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> That's horrible. I, I would almost rather go to Bree's uh, psychic. Psychic yeah. who, Bree's psychic um, who, I guess Nikki has circulated the yeah. psychic around yeah. the office. Yeah, apparently he's amazing. Nope. I don't. I disagree. You disagree? Yeah. He's, yeah, because they all live by it. Yes. They all live by it. He tells Bree like where you're going to meet your boyfriend, what he's going to look like. Mm-hmm. His name starts with this. He's going to tell you this on the beach. This is what's going to happen. I'm like, that's so horrible to do to somebody because yeah. then you're anticipating this forever. Like, yeah. So then you manifest it. Then you yeah, oh, exactly. She's right. Then you manifest it. Well, that's it. what this whole thing on Explained on Netflix is about. It's like the horoscopes, how they came it's about. True. Oh. It's wild. Oh. Oh, I should watch it because yeah. you're right. I mean, I'm no better because I read my horoscope every day in the paper and then horoscope. I manifest yeah. that for my day. I'm like, it's like a mind that. thing. They're like, someone is going to invade your privacy today. I'm like, here we go. Who's, who is awesome. it? Awesome. And then I'm like, every time someone approaches me all day, I'm like, I see you. I see you. I hear you. I, okay. That's so I'm funny. I'm not going to share that with you. It's probably this podcast, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Invading my, I invade my own privacy. Seriously, we let like the door share open. Everything. We leave, leave the, the door open. Yes, we tell we tell way too much about we our do. lives on this thing. We it's do. the converse demeanor. Thanks, lens and Gerald. Long Island Wine Country. Thank Long you. Long Island Wine Country. Um, so much though. I'm really really excited about the Fit Doc Fridays, and Bree is doing that with Dr. Michelle Reed, and that is super cool because she's going to show you how you can get out and. Do well, it. we're going to do some fun stuff with her too. Well, I know. Well, I'm supposedly. Excited. We might do some stuff with her. Okay. Might there, or might not. Well, I don't know. There, right. We were trying goat yoga. Every time it comes up, it sells out. I don't oh, know. okay. We're having challenge with that. Uh, Fire Island. We have new merch coming. And um, again, please, please, please. It look. It's limited. It's limited. Okay. Our contest. Yeah. Our giveaway. And it's coming up quick. July twenty com- second is re- right all, around just the corner. Take the day off as soon as you hear this. Take right. Call request, your boss. Send request. That. <laughs> we have bamboo. Send that. Send that request. request. In. Take the. T- just the afternoon. Yeah. Noon. You can take a half day. Fine. That's fine. Half day. Go it's in and work for the morning. You're going, you have work to do. Right. We don't. This is our right. job. This is our job. We get to go to the vineyard. We don't have to take a half day. I'm so excited. Because we work at Discover Long Island. <laughs> and this is what we do. Um, but we want you to take a half day. And we're super, super excited about this. So make sure you follow all of our social channels and the website. And, uh, and put your name in because... Only like six people are going to win. It's limited. It's limited. All right. We'll see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.